An insight light um, and insight actually, one of the benefits is that it chooses for you an analysis based on the variable that it has selected. Um, here I've got a, um, a data set which has a bunch of um, bunch of variables in it. Um, region here is a categorical variable um, with, with a large number of categories. If I wanted to do a test of the proportion, say proportion of um, individuals from the Auckland region, if I go to inference, because there are so many categories it's not offering me that, um, I can achieve what I want though by using um, the categorical menu and what I want to do here is collapse levels. Um, so I'm going to choose that region variable and select. I'm going to hold shift and click on the last one. So I've selected all but Auckland. Collapse. And that creates now a new, a new variable, um, which is binary. So Auckland and non-Auckland. And now if I go to the inference menu, we can see here that it enables me to test um, a, a proportion. I suppose 25% New Zealanders live in Auckland. Let's see if that's represented in the um, in the sample. And there we have a Z score and a p-value associated with that one, uh, with that test. Um, in the full version of, of Insight, um, essentially there's a you know, similar um, collapse menu within the categorical variables uh, option.